Hello, this is Daryl Leary, and I'm at Horlick Park, William Horlick Park, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And there's me with my NASA hat, far away from any anybody else, so I didn't have to wear my mask or face shield. And uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, fly the drone over the two islands that are in the middle of this big man-made lake. And the cool part is they turned the fountains on. So as you can see, we are about 145 feet above the ground. Um, it's 2020, June 13th, and it's noon. And there's the second island. And uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, increase my altitude so that um, I was trying to gauge how high up those birds were that are swarming around in the middle of the lake that you can see there. So the last thing I need is a bird attacking my drone or my drone injuring a bird. I thought I would take a, 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 a nice look at this island here. And now I'm flying over. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot swim or boat in this lake. They have rental boats, but that's the only way you can do it. You can see all the birds flying around. That's really cool. And there's this fountain right there. And there's another fountain in the upper right. And now we're coming closer to the second island here, cruising at 24 miles per hour. And I think I was trying to get a straight through shot, but I was sort of off the edge a little bit. So I wanted to uh, get a nice, good, close look at, of this uh, island here. You can see a, a big bird right on the tip of that island there. Wow. And that's the, that's the lodge where they have uh, skate rentals because people skate on this in the wintertime. And here comes another fountain coming into the middle of the, the screen there. And I tried to take off from a spot where there wasn't too many people. So, well, but you can see the odd person here. And I think there's been some activity because you can see a multicolored something on the bottom tip of this island here. Orange, blue, orange, red and white. And then there's something orange on the upper part of this island. And these are all the people that were like just all over the place. But uh, <laughs> and there's those birds swarming around. So I'm at 293 feet. And uh, yeah. So I would, I would go down to get a closer look at this island, but I really don't want to disturb the wildlife. So, and I'm flying the DJI Mavic Mini just under 250 grams. It's basically a toy drone, really. An amazing toy drone, though. It's a micro drone. That's what category it's in, micro drone. But it's an incredibly impressive drone. And uh, I was I was pretty tired. I was, uh, I only got five and a half hours of sleep last night, but uh, the winds were good. They were about 12 miles per hour at most and it must have been about 20 degrees and this water is fairly clear you can see some of the bottom sediment in the water here and here I'm, I'm, I'm trying to turn around this island so that you can see what's on this island and it looks like there's a picnic bench so I guess when the what when the water freezes over and people skate some people actually go onto this island in the winter time and sit at the picnic bench and you can see some people on one guy on a bicycle. There's a there's a golf course. I should have taken a picture of that golf course for Google Maps. But here's a nice uh I'm just rotating the drone. There's the North Saskatchewan River. And Horlick Park is right by the North Saskatchewan River. There's the parking lot. And downtown, downtown Edmonton. So that is pretty cool. Um, I've got the drone in sport mode, so. 
but there's a there's a pedestrian bridge across crossing the North Saskatchewan there that you can see and uh, yeah everything turned out really good with this video you know and uh, part of um, part of uh, Horlick Park is by restricted airspace but uh, but thankfully this man-made lake isn't so here's a closer look of that bridge that pedestrian bridge and I think I'm looking down yeah there I am okay uh, we're we're in this little half tent right here at the up top center that's that's where I'm controlling the drone from and my wife is sitting in that tent and you can see there's no one close to me so that was really really good I thought about flying over the river but um I don't know I just I just felt like I just wasn't going to uh, take a chance with it and now I'm increasing in altitude uh, 387 feet and I'm not sure if I put it I put the drone into cinematic mode yeah I think I did and uh, here I'm just trying to show you what's around this area here as I rotate the drone there's downtown I don't know what those buildings are there there's the North Saskatchewan River and then I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit so but I'm gonna try to get a little bit of sky so I'm just tilting the gimbal down just a little bit boy that river is muddy looking I tell ya <laughs> There it is. Horlick Park. William Horlick Park. And there I am in the center of the screen, the blue and white half tent there. And there's that first island. And there's the second island. And uh, I also did a 3D 360 and a 4K video with a stabilizer too. So I'm going to be uploading those as well. I also captured some 3D 360 footage of a squirrel. So I'm really excited to upload that up uh, onto YouTube. Um, I thought about flying across this uh, river. But... Uh, I don't know, maybe if it was a perfectly calm day, I would have. Like, maybe if the winds were only, like, three miles per hour maximum, then I would have just flown across the river. Or if I was closer to the river. Uh, you can you can see me now. My wife is in the tent there. My wife, Deborah. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but... Uh, God, you gotta love the, the, the picture quality you get from DJI Mavic Mini videos. Like, it's amazing. It really, really is. Okay, you can see, you can see some of the shore at the bottom, uh, bottom left corner of the North Saskatchewan there. I think, uh, I think I was thinking about, uh, backing up the drone to try to get a shot of, of, of the whole man-made pond that you can't swim or boat in. That's a lot of forest. That's uh, <laughs> find. A, I bet there's a lot of squirrels in there. I wish you could tag squirrels and uh, and have a little GPS device and then just just find all the squirrels because trying to find squirrels to take pictures or video of them is like so hard. Like there's so much luck involved. You know, and then, of course, when you do see a squirrel, you don't have your camera with you, you know. I mean, unless you have your phone or whatever, but... Oh, I guess we had a little bit of a video glitch. I don't know what that was about. But you can see a guy walking on this bridge here. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know why we're getting... Oh, that must have been when I was having electrical interference. I have no idea what would be causing electrical interference out here. So, a few glitches, but I saved the original video. I always save the original drone videos and the uh, GPS data files in case I want to remake these videos or do something like try to make them into 3D videos, that type of thing. I think here now I'm, I'm just returning to home and uh, descending. Uh, 150 feet. It's pretty nice though. A lot of geese, a lot of ducks, for sure. For sure, but I got all my photography done, so I was really happy about that. It's my passion, man. Got some nice pictures for Google Maps. That's what I did with the, ne the next battery. I plugged in a new battery and uh, sh shot some pictures for Google Earth and a 360 picture for uh, Google Street View. And thank you for watching this video. Take care.